All right, Nick, let's talk about the Atlanta Falcons. Fresh off the bye, the Falcons have a fresh new attitude and a new look at the quarterback position. They have decided to go back to Desmond Ritter, not for a trial period. He's been given full control of the offense for the rest of this season. I'm assuming if everything goes well, you never know what really could happen. But as of right now, Arthur Smith and Co. have complete confidence in Desmond Ritter going forward. And I really do like some of the things they said about him and why they have confidence in him. Let's get into the article and we can talk about it on the other side. Nick, this is from over on ESPN. It says Desmond Ritter is officially back as the Atlanta Falcons starting quarterback. And not just for one week, but for the rest of the season. Falcons coach Arthur Smith said Monday they made the decision to return to Ritter and they believe he gives them the best chance going forward. Ritter said he felt great about the decision to become the starter again, having used the time on the bench to assess both his own play and that of the offense as a whole. He said he looked at the energy of the team and the small things which might have helped him protect the ball better, his footwork, his reads, his progressions, while also staying calm back there. Watching Ritter in the fourth quarter against Arizona, Smith saw confidence in a player who wanted the ball in his hands. Now it'll be in Ritter's hands again for the Falcons. We've got a lot of confidence in Des, Smith said. We think the last couple of weeks he's handled it really well, a lot of things going on, and I think a reset has been very beneficial for him. Now Nick, I like all the things that are being said here. We have not seen the play on the field for a full game yet, so we're not exactly sure how it is going to go, but I do like that Ritter has spent all of this time. He is, first of all, he's taking it very well, the benching. He hasn't really thrown a fit. He hasn't done anything. He took it introspective, looked at everything. He wanted to improve himself. He wanted to improve the offense as a whole, and he came out and said flaws. He said, these are the things. He didn't just say, oh, I could get better. We can get better. He said, these are the things that I need to get better at. I need to get better on my footwork. I need to get better on my reads. I have to take better care of the ball, et cetera, et cetera. And he talked about all of these things, and now he's put them into use, and Smith said in the small portion they see of him versus the Cardinals that he thinks that Ritter has changed and this whole reset has been good for him. So I think this is really promising going forward for the Cardinals. Now, do I think Desmond Ritter is now going to be the savior of the Cardinals and the best quarterback for their future? Maybe not, but you never know. Sometimes someone needs a little kick in the butt to get them going, and this could have been just that for Desmond Ritter. I'm curious what your thoughts are on Desmond Ritter and the future with the Falcons, Nick, but I got to ask the fans in the comments below. Big game, divisional rival versus the Saints this coming weekend. Let us know in the comments below. What do you think the score of the Saints versus the Falcons will be in the comment section below? But Nick, what do you think about Desmond Ritter's new role with the Falcons? So I think what the Falcons are doing here, first of all, I think it's the smart move. Ritter should be your starter the rest of the season, barring some injury or some disastrous performance. And here's the reason why. Look, we know the Falcons, they've got a good roster, but whether it's with Ritter behind center or Taylor Heineke, they're not a top contender in the NFC, right? We all know Philly and San Francisco are jostling for the top spot. Then you have the Lions and then maybe the Seahawks and a Dallas. But right now, it clearly looks like the Atlanta Falcons and really no team from the NFC South, to be totally honest, is contending for the top spot in the NFC. But there is always the future and growing and trying to build your football team and getting clarity at the quarterback position is the most important thing you can do. You never want to be ambiguous. Otherwise, the Falcons fans, you know what you end up like? You end up like the Saints, who forever since Drew Brees left, they've been going back and forth trying to figure out, you know, do they go young guy? Do they bring in a veteran? Who's going to be the starter? They never get a chance to go over the hump. They, they live in an era of mediocrity, despite the Saints. I honestly feel the Saints have a really good roster, but they just can't get quarterback right. They just can't figure out the guy for that position. The way you have to move forward at the quarterback position, if the Falcons is you have to know if Desmond Ritter is going to be your guy or not. Honestly, I think Taylor Heineke gives them the best chance to win against the Saints. But in terms of the rest of the season, in terms of is Heineke a franchise quarterback, I think the answer we know through Heineke's career so far is no, he is not. Desmond Ritter could theoretically still grow into that guy. And you have got to give him the leash to go through that process. There's going to be some ups and some downs, but you have to use 2023 as a decision point. Okay, is Ritter the guy? Because going into 2024 offseason, the Falcons still have about $30 million in effective cap space available. 
that's a lot of cap space to make more moves. They've got a talented young core around him. Defense is a lot better than it was in years past. They've got a lot of pieces in place. They just have to decide, okay, next offseason, do we stick with, is Ritter our guy? Do we go after a different quarterback in the draft? Do we try and go all in for a veteran and sign a veteran to a big deal? Something like that. They have to know that beyond a shadow of a doubt, and they have got to use the rest of the 2023 regular season to evaluate that. And I think that's why this is a smart move because, look, we've seen Ritter, the turnovers, the issues he's had. He has not been good. He has not been good enough. He had some moments. I think the game against the Texans looked like it could be a breakout game for him. It hasn't worked out to be that way. Right now, you got to figure out if this guy can play or not because I tell you what, we talked about you don't want to be the Saints. You know who else you want to be, Falcons fans? Do you want to be the New York Jets? Right. The Jets have a great roster. They have a playoff roster. Heck, the Jets may even have a Super Bowl roster and they're going to miss the playoffs because they're so bad at quarterback because they missed on Zach Wilson and they stuck with Zach Wilson even after the Rodgers injury much longer than they should have. Do you really want to be the New York Jets? The answer is, of course, no, you don't. So now's your chance. Evaluate your young quarterback and decide now the 2023 season. Is he the guy for the future? If he's not, no worries. Move on. Find that guy. If he is, plays well down the stretch, does a lot of great things, build on, build with him going forward. I think that's what the Falcons are doing here, and I think it's a good job by Arthur Smith. I think it's a good job by Terry Fontenot because I guarantee this was a decision made at the GM and coach level. It may be ugly at times. It may not be what Falcons fans want to hear, to be totally honest, but I think it's the right move for the future because this team is talented. We all know they're talented. They just need the right guy behind center, and now it's the time to figure out if Desmond Ritter can be that guy or not. Yeah, Nick, and if you look at the totality of his career so far with the Falcons, this is a guy who has maybe played a full season now under his belt, almost there. He played half of last year. They were still going back and forth with Mariota. Now he's gone back and forth in this season. He's only got about 700 snaps under his belt. I think that gives him a little bit of room to grow. I don't think you can dim Desmond Ritter yet and say that he has no future being the future quarterback of this team because as we know he was very good in college he had a good team there with Cincinnati he was he looked as a great passer his last season there in Cincinnati he has the tools he has the ability to do those kind of things I think it's a mental thing at this point you clean up those turnovers you clean up a lot of things in his game which he says he's been working on his footwork release all of those kind of things and you to have that stuff fixed, this season would have gone a lot smoother. I think m- minus some of those turnovers, this is a Falcons team. Like you said, great roster, especially on the offensive side of the ball. It would have been a much better season though thus far. So hopefully Ritter has cleaned up some of this stuff. Hopefully now that he's getting close to having a full year, a full season of snaps under his belt, now he has the potential to grow And now, like you said, we can see, is he going to be the future or is he not? But you got to give him a chance because up to this point, I don't really think he's had quite the fair shake yet. Well, and to your point, right, you kind of need a year plus to figure out if a quarterback's any good. And I know nowadays you say, oh, you're going to develop quarterbacks. Look, unless they're a physical freak like Josh Allen, you kind of know after a year or two, right? And like you said with Ritter, it's been about a year. So now's the time to see, okay, are you going to be a franchise guy or not? And I think the Falcons recognize that. I think they use their buy to come to terms with that. And according to the reports, it seems like Desmond Ritter is focusing himself for that opportunity as well. So right now we're in wait and see mode for this Atlanta Falcons team in terms of the quarterback position. But no matter what, Falcons fans, because Arthur Smith and because Terry Fontenot made this decision, worst case scenario, you'll have clarity in a path going forward. And that's better than a lot of football teams. And best case scenario, Ritter becomes your guy and you go on to the playoffs. So again, no matter how you look at it, you'll have the direction going forward. And that's why it's a good move right here from Arthur Smith and the Falcons.